in the music business, I'm like, well, crap, here it is again. I'm going to have to work harder just like I did when I was growing up. Country star Reba McIntyre may have humble beginnings, but she is also well acquainted with luxurious living. And her one-time $22 million estate in one of California's most exclusive zip codes was as opulent as they come. Reba acquired her 9,242 square foot mansion with six bedrooms and seven bathrooms in the prestigious Beverly Park neighborhood of Beverly Hills for $9 million in 2003. She sold this expansive estate later on for a lot more money. Nestled on 1.8 acres within the gated community, the mansion welcomes visitors through an imposing multi-story entry hall, leading to a formal living room with an oversized fireplace as its focal point, complemented by a semi-circular wet bar in one corner. This home was full of amenities but it's far from the only property Reba's owned. Currently, the star resides in Tennessee in a home that she claims is much more authentically her. Reba McIntyre's journey began in a modest Oklahoma town, where she grew up on her family's ranch, actively engaged in tasks like cooking, cleaning, and tending to cattle. Despite her mother's aspirations of becoming a country singer, Reba initially pursued a career in education, following the path of being a teacher. However, Reba's trajectory took a remarkable turn, steering her towards fulfilling her dream of becoming not just a country singer, but one of the industry's best, earning global recognition and even start on the popular sitcom Reba running from 2001 to 2007. Reba's personal life has also been a big part of her story. Her marriage to music manager Narvel Blackstock lasted for 26 years before their divorce in 2015. Despite the challenges, Reba's resilience shone through as she navigated the complexities of personal relationships and professional endeavors. Relocating to Nashville and venturing into entrepreneurship, Reba showed that she won't be slowing down anytime soon. The transition from a marriage she never desired to end posed its challenges, but a glimpse into her beautiful home and the life that she's built since underscores her resilience. After moving on from some of her mega mansions, Reba keeps her current property more private, and it's assumed the country star lives in Nashville or surrounding areas. She's given a few peeks inside here and there on social media. As reported by the LA Times, Reba made a lucrative deal by selling her Beverly Hills property, which we'll check out in a moment. Acquiring that home in 2009 for $9 million, she later sold it for $22.25 million to an undisclosed buyer in 2015. Describing her current residence as African cowboy inspired, Reba's infused it with Western decor and photos captured during her various trips to Africa. The ambiance of her home boasts a harmonious blend of dark wood, rich leather, and mounted steer head. According to Reba, she wanted a house that genuinely reflected her. I love a home that is warm, inviting, and friendly. You never have to ask to take your shoes off at the door here. I wanted a space that is 100% authentically me. The mansion is full of beautiful art and warm textures. Inside the country singer's kitchen, there is a breakfast bar with marble top complete with wooden and leather stools. There are also vintage cream cabinets with black handles, a large fridge, and white flowers for a personal touch. The kitchen also leads into the dining room with floor to ceiling windows and an inviting wooden table perfect for entertaining. The house, which is full of books and family photos, also features a garden where a black wicker dining table sits with matching chairs. Reba revealed her work from home setup at one point when she was prepping for interviews in the kitchen. Reba's living room on the other hand features a plush cream colored sofa and we caught a look when she posted a clip in 2020. After Reba's divorce in 2015, she put another one of her well-known mansions on the market which was located in Lebanon, Tennessee, an area about 25 miles from downtown Nashville. The country star put the home up for $7.9 million in 2016, while a year later a portion of the property was sold to a local businessman for a reported $3.1 million. And these days, the property serves as an events venue. The mansion has been completely renovated over the years, while still maintaining its traditional southern charm. And inside, it boasts a whopping 12,819 square feet of space. This flawless collection 
colonial mansion is made up of 13 acres of private property, eight beds, and seven bathrooms. And it looks like something straight from a movie. Of course, looking at pictures, we can see plenty of reasons why Riva and her family would have loved this property. There's the massive chef's kitchen with double-sided fireplace and sprawling rooms to entertain like the ballroom and family rooms. The property is also known as the estate at Cherokee Dock or Starstruck Farm and sits on a beautiful lakefront lot with dock access to the beautiful Old Hickory Lake. One of the first things you're gonna see when walking into the main mansion is the grand three level staircase that would make for the perfect photo op. Or you could take the in-house elevator to move floor to floor. There are endless entertainment options here like a wine room, movie theater, and fitness center. And that's just the inside of the home. Outside, you can find everything from a swimming pool and spa to a fire pit and perfectly kept gardens. Now Reba's one-time residence serves as a stunning wedding and event venue. And if you're down to spend around $3,000 a night, you can access all of those amenities and more. Even play a game of tennis on the court, ride horses at the equestrian facility, or catch some Z's in Reba's former guest house. Up to 16 people can stay overnight in the main mansion, with each bedroom designed in honor of a different country legend, including Dolly Parton, Patsy Cline, Willie Nelson, Johnny Cash, and more. The master suite is obviously dubbed the Reba Room, and here you're gonna find an almost 360 degree view of the woods and lake from the window. For more intimate cocktail parties or dinners, you can even rent out the barn, which has room for 50 guests and boasts a rustic elegance. And for outdoor functions, one can use the pool house, which features floor to ceiling windows, as well as French doors. And then you can take a dip in Reba's former pool. In 2015, a newly single Reba and her ex-husband also offloaded their Beverly Hills estate in an off-market deal for a whopping 22 0.5 million. Online sources show the country music and sitcom star snagged this gated and fully landscaped estate in Beverly Park way back in 2003 for only $9 million. The world-renowned Beverly Park enclave has become even more exclusive in recent years, which could partly be the reason behind the massive sale. But either way, Reba and her ex, they had plenty of profits to split. The 1.8 acre property was built in 1993, and once you're inside, the home the mansion opens into a massive multi-level entry hall. In total, this home spans 9,242 square feet with six beds and seven baths throughout with grand living spaces as one might expect. The foyer led into the formal living and dining spaces and an especially large family room boasts an oversized fireplace and a semicircular wet bar on one side. Other features of Reba's luxury mansion included an office, a den slash billiards room, maids room and wine cellar. The Eden kitchen was done up in a sparkling white with some stainless steel appliances and it also had detailed ceilings that were present in the dining room too. Reba's one-time master suite here offered its own large fireplace and soaring ceilings that continued into the attached bath. There was also a private balcony overlooking the gardens. The spa style bathroom had a chandelier, built-in soaking tub, double vanities, and more. The grounds of the estate were just as amazing, and there was a second structure back here which added an extra 2,000 square feet of space. This entertainment area included a lounge, dining area, bar, full kitchen, and indoor barbecue setup. The property had a glamorous Grecian style pool with reflection pond and a lighted tennis court. Well, that wraps up today's Reba McIntyre house tour. We got a chance to peek into her gorgeous properties. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. Be sure to answer this question for me before you go. If you had the chance to start fresh post-divorce, where would you move and why? Let me know your answer in the comments down below and hit subscribe so you never miss a video. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Kara, or Kara the Vampire Slayer, as you might know me, and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself, and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix, and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. 
Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It with Kara and we can chat.